Now at 4.30, the opioid crisis is hitting a mother in northwest Indiana very hard. She lost not one, but two adult children to drug overdoses less than a year apart. Today, she's sharing her emotional story with V. Wynn, hoping to help others who are struggling with addiction. Mother's Day marks a painful reminder for Nicole Skirtage, who is now trying to navigate life without her daughter and son. My Taylor's death, that broke me. It broke me down to nothing, but then when I lost my son, that killed me. She invited us into her home, sharing her story and showing us pictures of them. Both struggled with addiction and died just eight months apart. Taylor was 22, Kyle was 25. It just makes me sad and sick that nothing's being done for any of the families, you know, because their lives mattered. Skirtage relives the pain of losing them every single day, now vowing to raise awareness about addiction and about fentanyl poisoning in her community. I want to see, um, you know, these dealers be held accountable. According to the Lake County Coroner's Office, so far this year, 43 overdose deaths have been reported, 29 of them fentanyl related. Last year, there were 170 overdose cases, 143 of them linked back to fentanyl. Scary. It's very scary <laughs> what's happening just right here in our yard. Patty Stovall started Sounds of Sarah in memory of her daughter who died from fentanyl poisoning. We need to educate our community, of course, but uh, our government needs to do something more. Stovall pushing for more access to Narcan, Skirtage hoping to reach more families on social media. Both moms now united in their fight to end the crisis. And I hope to uh, that other parents don't stay silent. People in the community are encouraged to come out this Saturday for the second annual We Fight Together event. Sounds of Sarah is organizing this 3K walk run event and says the goal is to confront the stigma of addiction, raise awareness, and to educate the public about what's happening in their community. For more information about the event, just go to our website, NBCChicago.com. Reporting in Highland, Indiana, V1 NBC5 News. Right, thanks to V.